Bugs. They're an inevitable part of the software development process, a reality made worse when they go into production and hit the marketplace, and even worse when they're not immediately discovered, and even worse than that when the developer doesn't do anything about it or drags its feet. This is why Trend Micro developed their bug bounty program called the Zero Day Initiative. John Clay is Director of Global Threat Communications at Trend Micro. We work with 3,500 plus independent researchers around the globe who submit the bugs that they have found, whether it's in applications, operating systems, mobile platforms, hardware, but they submit those bugs and we ensure that they are legitimate and that they work. But then we manage the responsible disclosure process with the vendor. The relationship with the vendors is very good because we work with them on a regular basis. If they don't accept that these bugs need to be patched, we still disclose the bug publicly because we feel that the community out there as a whole need to know that there is a bug. This has enormous value in terms of safety for customers, even during the critical discovery to repair phase. In 2018, we averaged 62 days ahead of the public patch being available, that our customers were protected from any exploits that may already be out there uh, targeting those organizations. They're also hiring, looking for good people to do good work. Go to trendmicro.com or zerodayinitiative.com. There's a gray market and a black market for zero-day vulnerabilities, and we take those off the table. 